Okay, I'm standing here with John Fakhali, walking thumbs, and he is going to create the new WhatsApp. Now, I always love people with big ideas, and uh, John, what's wrong with apps, WhatsApp? What, what needs to be improved? Well, uh, we're basically creating the next generation of the emoticon, or the smiley. Uh, what text messaging is very heavy on I I the emoji or the expressions. Really? Are people using that really? Yeah, out of uh, teenagers, they are 90% of a teenager conversation is dominated by text messaging. Yeah, what percentage uh, of the total? Uh, the teenagers are the heaviest uh, messengers, so they, are, they consume about 80% of messaging in terms of the whole age spectrum. Yeah, but you also told me that if I see the text, 20% of the text is icon icons? 80% uh, of a 40-line conversation. Yeah. So that's like probably about six, seven messages, like up to, out, out of eight. Yeah. And you think those things are boring and they can be improved? No, there's a need. The digital communication is very boring by nature because it's text and people are looking ways to spice it. That's why the first uh, emoticon, the smiley face, was created out of Pittsburgh, out of Carnegie Mellon University, 1982. Uh -huh. And afterward, people needed the ways to be able to express themselves better. And that's yeah. where the... And you're going to do a new one. So show me the ones, the ones you have. Yeah. What everybody has done as far as WhatsApp and other competitor products is they just took a very old product and they brought it, brought it to the smartphone age. Mm -hmm. And what we did and we said and we said there must be ways where we can do things that were not possible before like hugging people giving them high fives you know blowing shut them up uh, shut them up uh, erase them out of a conversation kick their messages back to them if they say something you don't like mm -hmm. I mean even negative expressions are not possible like the only thing you have right now is like uh, crying yeah uh, you have very animated uh, animated so icons can you give us a couple of example uh, show us a couple of things it's called uh, blab cake uh, and it's for blabbing yeah, and um, sure. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, but basically all my friends right now are berries and the berries could be customized so they can be blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, yeah. cherries. Uh, and I can see visually what my friends are up to just by looking at them. And then I can go into a conversation with them and we do what all text messaging could do or whatever features. But on top of that, we can do things that were not even imaginable before. Like I can uh, hug somebody, for example, by hugging by hugging my phone and uh, so I hugged my phone and here you see and I hugged you somebody. radiated the, the, the heat we use a lot of anime style so for example I can zip them up in a conversation by uh, swiping on my phone if somebody's talking a lot and they're in a zipper and this is what I see on my side of the screen uh, this is what you get if you were on the other side uh, so this is a preview. You, you, we, we sell expressions, basically. So this is what you just saw. This is what you would see if I send it to you. I will have your whole conversation screen zipped up. And then you have to unzip by touching the zipper and then put moving it downwards. Yeah. It's a lot more emotional than, uh, than just those boring uh, ASCII kind of emojicon. Uh, also, like, uh, you know, like, for example, a lot of times people, like, are bullying one another... Uh, and then you can use your magic wand to convert them to whatever you want. So I can convert somebody into poop if they're acting like very... By using my magic wand and I hit them with a magic wand and they're poop for now, as far as I am. And, I, you know, I can convert them into a dog, you know. If they're very cute, I can... So, I, we saw them, they're very expressive, and they're very creative, and they're fun, and those kind. So, we, which people do you think will switch networks to uh, create this kind of emotion, to use this kind of emotion? We're going after teenagers and tweens, we think, but this could go up to any age. And uh, we can launch, we have a platform of expression. So, let's say we saw in the Olympics uh, this summer, uh, there were six types of body touches that improved team performance. Six body touches. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we created those uh, hugs, and now we have six new types of hugs. Yeah, and you also use the, the, uh, the sensors in the phone, and you put it here, this, this yeah. means something, this happens. You, you can project your heart, but you can also project a broken heart. So it's, there's a lot of things that by touching the body that we'll be able to do. You yeah. can slap somebody. What's your background? Uh, I used to own a robotic toy company, so um, I come from the toy industry where we create magic. So we're in the business of creating magic. magic. And what do you do, uh, Chase? Uh, I'm a sound designer at Walking Thumbs.